Alright, folks. Back at the same spot. Another recording. Another episode. Last time we defeated the hag. We helped that lady get her husband. He ended up just turning into a zombie. Because you should never trust the hag. Never in life have you ever seen a good hag. Except for... Well, I guess she isn't technically a hag. I was gonna say it was the... Uh, one of the witches from Spirited Away, but technically, you know, the witches, not hags, but the semantics. Oh, uh, there's my girl. Let's go ahead and break this door down because I don't feel like lockpicking. Uh, I mean, I don't know what she was thinking, trusting a hag in the beginning, but. Yeah, she got her brothers killed. She almost lost her baby, and her husband's still dead. Uh, there's a few potions over here and some uh, ingredients you can use for other stuff. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. I would just check the tool tip. I'm not going to take all of this stuff because there's really no point in it, but feel free to look around when you play through. If you're playing this along with me, I think this episode might be the episode we go ahead and fill up the last little bits of the map, and then we're going to see what else there is in the world beyond this little area. All right, yeah, I'm going in the right direction. I guess they didn't find their sister. Now, this part is actually pretty funny. A seasoned killer's work. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. But most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Or to make a deal with her. <laughs> Probably think you can outfox the old dear. Right, but very wrong. My prey is a vampire spawn, much less impressive than the beast that lives here. I fear he's gone to ground. I hoped the hag of these lands could help me flush him out, but it seems she is no more. A vampire spawn? Why? It is a sacred mission from the head of my tribe. She sent me here to capture the beast and return it to her. Capture? And bring it where? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Under all the smiles, you can feel Astarian's tension. He's coiled like a spring, hand inching towards his weapon. Is your friend ill? I have some tea that might help. No, no. I'm quite well. We should go, but you have fun tracking your monster. May your road be kind. So he's looking for a Starion, and you can just fight him. But he's not evil, and I don't think it's. I don't think I would feel right fighting him. I did the first time just to see what happens, but I was like, nah. There's one of the brothers right here, by the way. And here's that other red cap I was thinking of. This is my time. I'll do it my way. I wonder if I could take him out like this. Damn, almost. Can't give up. Not now. 
If she hits him with this and it kills. Almost so close. Alright. I wonder if I could throw him. I know it's kind of like my answer to a lot of things, but like, it's just so fun. Alright, I guess I can't. I don't have enough movement. Uh, let's get out of here. be the one they toast for saving so many lives and now that I'm here I hate it this is awful we killed some goblins to save some tieflings the tally of lives didn't change much but what do I get for all my hard work a pat on the head and vinegar for wine By all means, go and enjoy yourself. I'll be here, waiting for the sunrise. Alright, uh, let's talk to you. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. You can ask him a bunch of different questions. It's just stuff around based around the grove and him just being friendly. And just a little bit of information about him, but. Uh, go ahead Later, and do that perhaps. One. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. I need to go visit our friend here. Oh man, I'm really close to another level too. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? I like that he says mayhaps, because I do so occasionally. I'm going to use hirelings. Well, I'm going to get my first one. Choose. Now, the hirelings, if you don't want to use any of the characters, like the actual characters for whatever reason, you can get a hireling. And some mods actually add hirelings, like right here. You see, I have an SMR one. Uh, some of the uh, mods that add different, you know, races or now they're called species and uh, regular D&D. &D. You know, I just go through and choose whatever. But I think I think it'd be fun to get a to get this one. Uh, let's do defense. They they pretty much play like regular characters. I think they just don't have dialogue. It, if you, I'm gonna explain it like this. this is how I kind of look at it. It's like imagine if you want to have Weathers as a companion. That's almost what it's like. And one level bard. I don't really have an idea for a build for this character, but I'm taking that one level of bard because we need it for something. I'm 
wonder what happens if we take control of this one and try to talk to Alfera. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? But of course, you achieved something far beyond mere fact. That deserves to be remembered. You should go down and see the water. Your song was coming along. Then things began spinning. Worry not, I shall return to it at first light. Right. Pretty much, I just wanted to get the extra dialogue for having a bard in the group. No time to rest. Um. You can talk to the rest of the people around here, do whatever, but that's going to be it for me for, you know, this part of the day. Of course, the video is going to continue. Buzz of celebration quiets but, yeah. to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. You sleep alone, uplifted by memories of your recent triumph. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure, and the chance to hit these assholes where they live. Sounds good. Wait. There's more you need to know. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. May Sylvanus guide us. Do not be so impatient to move on as Halsin. As ever, the Githyanki Kresh remains our priority. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. I'm not gonna not show that. That actually is something I do want to show because there's an item that I really recommend you get there. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. His beard looks weird. Um, you can talk to him about doing other stuff. It's a really gross part, and I hate watching it, where he pops out one of your eyes and replaces it with a fake eye. I hate watching it so much, but the buff is really good. But I'm not gonna do it here. 
heads nor hearts, Shadow Heart. I wouldn't quite say that. Actually, maybe I know what I can do. After all. And came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to. I don't think I missed this opportunity, but I'll still show it for anybody who's playing along. It's it's not necessary for later, but it is good to have for later. You come up here. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Now, normally I don't take out the goblins in this area, but as far as I know, you don't really get anything besides experience. That's why I normally don't. And uh, it's just not worth it. It's just a time sink. But I'll still do this part. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I... Oh, yeah. Bars get bardic inspiration, if you didn't know that. It uh it can come in handy. I'm just gonna use it just because, even though I ended up not needing it. But <laughs> I rolled a 30 down. Flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to I said we're leaving! There's plenty of Oh, and rich pickings out there for us. Move it. Yeah. Fresh meats. Beating these guys isn't that yes. difficult. Oh, they still want to fight. Okay. I don't know what happened to trigger a fight, but whatever. I was hoping I could take him up right there. Uh, Orgs are gonna go next. Yeah, why not? I'm actually kind of surprised he hit, but I'm also not at the same time. What weapon does she have? She has a spear, wow. Alright, I'll, I'll get her right later. I, I, I completely forgot to check out our equipment. Let's see if I can take him out. Of course I missed. Why do I keep missing my melee attacks? What the hell? Alright. 
catch you out the way. Do I just stop him right there? Now you can't hide. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna use Scorching Rage just so I can try and get like a cheap hit on uh, all three of them. I take him out almost, almost. Damn. Blessed is like a really good spell early on, but it, it <laughs> actually casting it gets worse. step up here just so I can get height of course go ahead and just bunga bunga this dude uh, matter of fact I'm gonna have Will go over here I should have had him go over here before but let's go ahead and try to stop you here we go why but i feel like ray of frost hits more often and as soon as i say that he misses nice victory awaits why did i do that whatever I just realized when I was fighting the hag, I never used action surge. And like, yeah, I'm like recording those back to back. But I just realized I never used action surge that entire fight. I'm just gonna have my uh, PC fly back here. Just so I can I'd be a little bit ahead of what I'm doing. Stop this thing. I speak, they burn. Or in this case, freeze, hopefully. Uh, let's go down here. We're going to help that guy. I want to get this stuff first. I think we actually have a pair of boosts like that. Alright. Um, I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah. Better not be cursed. Well, it's no boulders gate. But at least it's some kind of civilization. I do miss the gate though. The elf song tavern. Sunset over Grey Harbor. Fried fish at the docks. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and hit the brakes. If you speed it up, it just flings them. But I want to save this guy for later. Uh, let's just make sure there's nothing up here worth taking. Yeah.
didn't think of uh, I didn't know it wouldn't let me fly directly through that. He's a bit of an ass, but it's worth saving him because of others. Oh, bag of Kabara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it, whatever you are. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. What if they had anything there? I doubt it. Yeah, usually these goblins don't really have anything good, except that one guy had a special item. Um, but yeah, he'll be popping up later. That's one thing I like about this game is a lot of stuff that you do in Act 1 has consequences or just comes back in general in the uh, later parts. A brief respite. So... Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. Nothing. The trick of the light. I'll take you as I find you. Now let the matter rest. I want to push her off a cliff so Just bad. Along. Time's a rare currency for both of us. I want to push her off a cliff so bad. I, don't, I actually don't like Shadow Art. And I'm not going to keep looking for this dude's bag because I don't see it. And I'm not about to keep wasting time on it. Just to recap, I came here. This building was burning. I had to run in here. We saved a noble woman that recognized well. And one of the guys who helped burn down this place is hiding nearby. Oh, yeah, I already did this part because I accidentally, I accidentally walked in. Um, <laughs> Salazar. We have a very similar name. Anyway, you come down here and there's like a little, I guess you could call it a hideout or like a cellar or something. There's different things you can steal from here. It's just like common or, you know, whatever is the next thing above common, uncommon, loot. Uh, there we go. Look at that. And we just sneak down here.
now nah, I'm going to cover this later. That's far enough. What's your business or now? down here? Or at least I'm going to just do Answer this for honestly, now. And maybe we'll kill you clean. Whoa, hold your arrows. This is Rugen's savior, I'll bet. He told us all about you. Come on in then. Any friend of Rugen's is a friend of the family. Oh, one of the guys that I saved. Pretty much if you if you go near the Risen Road, there's a guy that you can save and he works for them. These guys are essentially uh, underground types. Like they have thieves and all kinds of other people and they do like black market dealings. But uh You're the one who recruited me, Rugen. You're the one who taught me rule number one. Remember? <laughs> You're dead the moment you steal from the Zentarim. No matter who you are. I just gotta check just to be curious. I really want to see what she says. You were so close. So close to walking out of this alive. Okay, you guys were all going to die anyway. It's just I'm not right next to you when you die. I'm just gonna have him hang back. I do? Actually, better yeah, I know what I can do. Just to... feel death's cold grip. Um... Keep guessing. I thought it did it automatically, but whatever. Water. Go ahead and watch that oil out so it doesn't spread all the way down here. Swords meet sorcery. Step by step. What if Gale actually go up here? And then we're gonna use magic missile. Oh no. Yeah, it's still too far. Uh, it's still too far for that. It's still too far for that. Whatever. On the moon. Damn. She just short. Did that TPK me? Almost. I'm actually shocked. I did not expect that to kill everybody like that. All right, this is going to get a little interesting. I still have yeah I do
Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Take you out almost. Nice. Ooh. Why wouldn't it let me? Well, I guess because of whatever I rolled. Wonder if I can Yeah, they're too far. Uh magic missile. Damn, one of them moved. I'm gonna hit at least two of them. Nice, okay. Let's have a little fun. One can't always be a gentleman. Right, let's move up. We're gonna try to snipe those two that we took out. Or that we just hit. I think one of them got I think one of our party members just gotta level up from that. Ooh, that credit too. Damn. All right, time to really clutch up. How she doesn't see him is insane to me. How neither one of them see him is absolutely nuts. I'm talking about this is how you know I play this game way too much there's no reason why I should have been able to do this entire thing with two characters mm. 
All right. Before I do anything else, we're going to level up. So we can go ahead and start with the MC. I think here I might actually take more levels in Paladin. I'm gonna go back and like rearrange it and then get like my Paladin level so I can wear heavy armor. But for now, I'm just gonna do this. Something like that, that's when you find out that it's essentially just a uh it's somebody who worships uh what's his name uh not jurgle yeah jurgle the uh the statue that we found when we first met what's his name all right i need to clean up my inventory One of the people they pretty much have working, you know, extorting or enslaved or whatever. No more. <sighs> you beautiful bastard. Thought my luck had finally run out. Yeah, he just runs off. This is actually my first time doing that, wait, but I've seen wait. other people do I'm it. Just a prisoner. Spare me and there'll be coin, I swear it. I'm an artist. These faithless bastards were trying to ransom me back to my patron. She is a woman of great means and great generosity to those who serve her well. Heroes who rescue her prize painter, for example. Oscar Fevras. At your service. Oh, run crying back to my patron, I expect. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. You recall a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. I did not run away. A date was never set. There were complications. B before my fame, my patron, there was a uh, another woman, one I planned to spend my life with. But when Lady Janeth offered me a future, well, it felt only right to mention my past. Right, but unwise. I was forced to retreat into the countryside to paint and to clear my head, to choose, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, absolutely none. Uh, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward, once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some. A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city, truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Until Baldur's Gate, then. Now, I always forget to do this stuff. I have freed him in the past, but um, that's not the main reason why we're here. I keep forgetting that this is destroyed because I'm used to using that ladder. There's more of these guys in here. Not a lot, but enough to be a nuisance. So we're going to clear them out. We're going to loot all of their stuff because there is something very important here that we want to grab. And there's another reason why we're going to be here in general.
Um, I'm gonna just have her hang back. I know some I have her hanging back, but like she's not close to anybody. Damn. Uh, let's try and use whole person. There's no real particular reason why I'm targeting this one particular person besides the fact that they're in range for a lot of stuff. Hit the wrong thing. What is my armor class right now? Wait. Oh, we're at level five now, so we get two projectiles from uh from Elders Blast. I see they follow the same rule I do. Ah, oh, too heavy. And level five, a lot of our party members get an extra attack. Well, pretty much two of our party members get an extra attack. Of course he misses. I need to give him those hand cross clothes. You're not getting away from me. I'm very sad. I will shove you off the side of this damn bridge or whatever you want to call this. Damn. <laughs> I just want to let that guy know that he fucked up. Have to keep going. I will give it. Go ahead and reapply hex on this guy. Oh, that didn't work. Coming through. I need to get ready to go to bed. It's like kind of getting late. Uh, all right, I can't hit you. I can hit this guy though. Yay! Alright. 
go ahead and break in here. So these guys kind of do like counterfeiting and all kinds of other stuff. And they just have like different like what would be expensive loot. I'm not gonna thoroughly check this thing, but there's a not bad. I've had better days. There's a few things you want to grab before you leave here. If you have a druid or somebody in your party who is a druid, that's uh, usually for them. God damn it, I was one short. I don't even know why I'm using my player character for this. I had a feeling it was ready to happen again. that it doesn't unlock them too when you do this ah, come on now all right yeah i got this one Probably got this one. So yeah, you want to come here to get the infernal iron. That's like most of the reason why. Even if you don't end up going down here. This is another way to get to the underdark. I'm gonna just show you where it lets you off at. Nice Still be there, waiting for us. Meanwhile, this place is pretty spectacular, isn't it? No book or painting could ever do its strange beauty justice. But perhaps our stories might when we return to the surface. A trap. Time to dance. Yeah, there's a bunch of different traps and stuff down here. Uh, don't pay any mind to that ground shaking sensation. Fungal spores. Is a little blood mist too much to ask for? There is some minotaurs down there. You can fight them pretty easily from up here. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm actually going to call the episode here. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.